Okay, we're gonna start with how to do this tiny little, this is called a Casparita. Now you could eat it if you want. It's not got a huge amount of flavor, um, but they make great candle holders, great decorations. But if you were serving dip or something at a party, this would be a great thing to put your favorite dip in too. Um, but I found these really cute little copper like roofing nail tacks at the hardware store. I love a good hardware store um, for, you know, finding stuff in the yard is good, but everything else comes from a hardware store. And these are so soft, not like gourds. Gourds are going to be really hard to try to just poke through, but the little, the Casparitas, the Jack B. Littles, which are the orange ones, and the Spark, which is a striped one that's over there, those you can actually just poke right into. So simple as that, poke in the tack, and it's just shiny and cute. And the leaf underneath, I use a lot of fig leaves uh, because they have a sort of a similar shape to a pumpkin leaf, and pumpkin leaves definitely don't last more than a few minutes. And then just for kicks, I added these leaves and I'm gonna poke that right there. And there you have it. So that's a pretty cute and easy little project. Okay, I'm gonna do a ribbon, a really simple ribbon pumpkin right now. I'm choosing to do this flat white, um, this is called also called a boar ford pumpkin. Um, I'm doing it with the ribbon technique because it's really, really delicious and I definitely am going to want to eat this later. So I'm simply putting thumbtacks in right around the stem. I cut all my lengths ahead of time so then I can just flip it over and I also found little brown thumbtacks so they fit right in. Whoop. Yeah, working on a table with holes in it. And shove that right in there. Now you're not using any hot glue, well because they're organic pumpkins. So for the top of the pumpkin, I can hide all my thumbtacks by just making a nice uh, dark green ribbon and that's going to sort of act as the stem and leaf uh, cute top. Um, what you can do is loop this over and then take a little bit of wire. I'm using one of our twist ties and just, you want a, a skinny wire. So I'm just peeling off the organically grown paper. Always use the notch in your clippers when you're cutting wire or anything that's not a plant. Um, that's why that notch is there. So don't wreck your clippers by cutting wire, not in the notch. So then basically you just scrunch that together, put a little twist around it. And then as you fluff it up, you know, you can get fancy wired ribbon also works really well if you want a big, stiff, fluffy bow. Just kind of open them up, twist them, and then we can use another thumbtack. Some root the um, upholstery tacks, which I don't have with me, are great because they have a little bit longer of the pin part, and so when you need to go through a bunch of ribbon. Um, that's kind of helpful too. I like to have a few of the upholstery tacks around. And then if you wanted, you could add smaller ribbon and just really cover it. Let's say it's not quite as beautiful as this one. Just put more ribbon on it. It's still gonna be delicious. And when we come over this way, um, I'm gonna show you, this was another one why I just did not have the heart to carve it. Um, this is called a speckled hound. It is so delicious. You can tell they're going to be yummy when they're really heavy for their size. So I just did the same thing. Thumbtack on the bottom, little poof on top. These are fun. That's just some black string wrapped around, thumbtacked on the bottom, and I think those are darling. I did this one first with the single string, but I like the double string much better. And then this, so cute. We've got our orange pumpkin, our polka dot white pumpkin, and then I like it together with the spark, which is the double color pumpkin. So there's your, your quick and easy uh, wrap it with string or ribbon pumpkins.